We will now solve the problem uh, using the conservation of angular momentum. So, the name of the problem is a problem with so initial angular momentum equals final angular momentum. So, the, uh, initially, we have a plank and here is a, let's say, a disk. This disk is rotating with omega zero about this axis G and <coughs> this is the central mass of the uh, plank and uh, this distance is d. The parameters in the problem is uh, this has moment of inertia about its own center of mass and mass m1 and this one has moment of inertia i2 to rotate about its axis and then mass m2. Uh, <clears throat> so, this is rotating with omega zero. You drop it onto this plank and surfaces are sticky. At the end, so this is the initial. Finally, let me make a small picture. This stops with respect to the uh, plank and uh, it, ro it will rotate. This is a horizontal surface. So this will rotate with final omega f. So the question is find omega f. Since uh, Stopping this 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 disk uh, is due to the friction. Of course, uh, energy is lost in this game. So if we just look at the system, S plank plus the disk, and we are interested in the motion of this system in the horizontal plane. Uh, and since there is no friction between the plank and this horizontal surface, uh, the central mass momentum is conserved. And uh, these are all delta L central mass is conserved. And as we shall see, energy of rotation here is will be wasted. Uh, to some degree due to the uh, friction. So what is, so the question is what is omega f? So L central mass initial is equal to L final. Now let's look at the, <coughs> now where is the center of mass? So uh, here it is. This is the center of the uh, plank. Uh, so if I just uh, write this, here is M1 and here is M2. This distance is D. Therefore, the uh, central mass is here. This is D1 and this is D2. And D2 is uh, M, M1 over m d and d1 is m2 over m d. So that when we add them, it is d. If m2 were 0, d1 is 0, namely the central mass will be here. So that's the proportion. The initial angular momentum about the central mass, and I mean about the central mass of the system, uh, well, 
this is not uh, rotating at all and its center of mass is at rest so Planck has no angular momentum. This uh, initially is here, uh, whereas this disk is uh, simply rotating. It has no angular momentum about the center of mass. Central mass of the system is here. It does not have an uh, angular momentum about the uh, systems here due to its center of mass because its center of mass is not moving to the right or left. However, it is rotating about its own axis. So this is simply I2 omega 0. L central mass final is equal to I final, final moment of inertia times omega f. So we have to write the final moment of inertia. Now we shall use the parallel axis uh, theorem. So this has I1 plus I1 plus M1 D1 square. And for this uh, one we have I2 plus M2 D2 square. And we, we plug in uh, the values of D1 and D2 equals I1 plus I2 plus M1. Now <coughs> D1 square is M2 square over M square. M is the total mass, M1 plus M2 times D square. And for the M2, D2 square, so M1 square over M square D square. So there are some common terms. We can uh, write this one as <clears throat> M1, M2 divided by M square times M2 plus M1 D square. So this knocks out one of these. And that's it. So it is I1 plus I2 plus M1, M2 over M D square. <coughs> Now, <clears throat> I'm racing this part. Maybe we have to put omega. Yes. Times omega f. So, set them equal omega f equals I2 over if which is simply this i1 plus i2 plus m1 m2 over m d square times omega 0 so this is the answer we can uh, i'm erasing this part now Let us check the energy. Initial energy is, the initial is one half I initial omega zero square E final is equal to one half I F omega F square. Let's take the ratio. One half I F maybe F square over one half <coughs> so omega F is so it is I F over I I and this is I I square over I F square omega zero square divided by this omega zero square. So the uh, EF is <coughs> E 
the initial which is i2 over i1 plus i2 plus m1 m2 over m d square. <laughs> okay, so EF is uh, obviously smaller than EI. If you plug in the numbers, depending on what these things are, <coughs> is it 40% of the initial energy, 30% of the initial energy, you get the numerical value. But now I want to indicate uh, something. If you just look at this formula, you may notice something interesting. You may notice this. This is what we had uh, discussed before in problem 16. Is the uh, <coughs> reduced mass. M reduced. It is the reduced mass of the uh, disk and the plank. So, remember, uh, what did we discuss there? There was a, uh, two uh, objects we uh, transformed uh, from the left frame to the central mass frame. They had a, a relative momentum and central mass momentum. And the relative momentum had uh, the uh, involved the reduced mass and the rel relative velocity. So, this is also telling us that uh, we can uh, consider this problem along those lines. And if you remember, uh, we had written this magic formula for two objects and in the center of mass, L center of mass was R cross P, the angular momentum of the angular momentum of the reduced mass about the center of mass plus L spin 1 plus L spin 2. Now let's look at this term here. <coughs> What's that? This is just the motion of the centers of mass of the uh, plank and the disc. So if you just uh, look at the motion, they are rotating about the uh, central mass of the system. So it is like this. If we uh, reduce it to a one-body problem, this is the system central mass here. And we have a, the reduced mass, M reduced. That's P, and it's making a, this time a circular motion. Okay. And the other ones are the spin of the disk about its own axis, about its own axis, and the spin of the plank about its own axis. axis. So this is easy to write. This distance is D. That's, uh, this, that's the distance between the two masses, D. Okay, so P is m reduced times v relative and this is m1 m2 over m what is v relative well that's omega f times d what is this one now these are all locked in mo motions. For example, if a uh, plank uh, rotates once, a uh, disc is also rotating once, so is the reduced mass is rotating once. So let's write the others. This is <coughs> I1 omega f, and this is I2 omega f. So initial uh, angular momentum was I1 omega 0, that's equal to, let's follow, this is M reduced. Uh, I just wrote P for, to get the angular momentum, it is P times D. So this is, uh, this is P times D and P is that. 
So it is m reduced d squared omega f plus i1 plus i2 omega f. So omega f is equal to i1 over, sorry, i2, called it i2, i2, i1 plus i2 plus m reduced d square. So uh, this also uh, brought into our minds uh, to look at this problem once along these lines. <coughs> and it has been reduced to, remember, a one body, a one body problem when as far as their, the motion of their centers of mass go. Before we discussed in the collision problem that they were uh, either moving the centers of mass of the objects were moving along the same line or in parallel lines, okay? But now we, here we see a, a problem in which this is making a circular motion about the center of mass. Thank you.